This is uh, laboratory procedure eight, and uh, it deals with a sickle cell test using sodium metabisulfite. And the purpose is to familiarize the student with the technique of performing a sickle cell test. Uh, sickle cell, you know, is a very serious disease, uh, particularly if the individual has the genes from both the parent, from both parents, they most likely would show sickle cell disease very, very uh, quickly and very easily because it's, they are homozygotes. So usually all you have to do is examine a blood sample under the microscope and you can see sickling, a very high number of sickle cells. These sickle cells, some of them have varying shapes, but generally they look like quarter moons. However, there are individuals who will have the genes only from one parent. So they are heterozygous for the disease and therefore the disease doesn't show up very readily through a blood sample. So determine, to, de to determine if these individuals have sickle cell disease, we perform this sodium metabisulfate test. It's one of the simpler tests to uh, do. And the, pro the, the, the process involves mixing a blood sample with this reagent, sodium metabisulfite, and the cells that carry the gene for sickling or the trait for sickling, because they would have the trait, they, doesn't, they don't show disease. Uh, they will tend to sickle. The metabisulfite reagent tends to lower the oxygen tension in the blood. And that is when the cells sickle. When after the cells in the normal individual normally deliver the oxygen to the tissues and they're returning to the heart, that is when they tend to sickle, after the oxygen tension has been reduced. So this procedure reduces the oxygen tension in the blood by adding this reagent, and therefore if the person has the sickle cell trait, it will show up. So this is the sodium metabisulfate test. These are the list of the um, materials that needed. We have the chamber where we're going to be incubating for one to four hours. We have our microscope slides, our sample. So this is a sample, a sickle cell sample. And um, our cover slips and our pipettes. So we have already made up the sodium metabisulfate, the 2%, by adding 0.2 grams of the sodium metabisulfate solvent powder. And we used 10 mils of the distilled water. So this is our sodium metabisulfate solution. So according to the SOP, we need to drop one drop of the sodium metabisulfate on a microscope slide to one drop of the patient sample. And we mix. we cover with a cover slip. Then we seal the ends with Vaseline.
Okay. The ends are sealed. And we place it to incubate at room temperature for three hours max. Then we come back and read under the microscope um, to observe our sickle cells. One of the limitations that we have in examining the prepared blood sample that has been uh, done to show sickle cells is that there are shapes of cells that may look like sickle cells and you have to be careful. Things like uh, schistocytes, which you all know are really fragments of red cells which have been sliced by fibrin, by fibrin strands, and therefore these cells may look like sickle cells. You have elliptocytes or ovalocytes. These are cells, red cells, that have a very elongated shape. They, they may even look like pencil, like thin pieces of pencil, and therefore they can be confused with sickle cells. So you have to be careful when interpreting your sickle cells that you don't confuse them with other red cell abnormalities.